All right, guys, welcome back to my channel. Following yesterday's uh, unboxing of the Hotel Maxi Scope, I thought I'd just go through it and show you guys what the Hotel Maxi Scope actually looks like and how it, well, a few of the features onto it that are a little bit better than the Handtech, but at the same time, for the added cost, you can still do like it just makes it a little bit quicker. That's all it does. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go through it now. The thing with the the hotel is that it doesn't have a automatic detection so when you guys actually take and plug it in and open up your your file you guys are actually gonna have to come over to auto to the little a button click the and make sure that it recognizes your hotel maxi scope and then press ok then it's gonna load it up for you now after everything's all loaded up over here you're gonna have your your channels one two three four and your trigger is down here so we can turn our trigger on right now, which is going to be right here, this little blue dot. Now this little blue dot, you can actually click on them. So you have to click on the, the, the trigger and then you have to click on your channel, make sure both of them are on, and then you'll actually be able to move your trigger around, like so. Now, after that's all done, I don't have anything really for uh, a signal, except for my, uh, I actually have a remote starter hooked up and we're just going to plug into the signal of the antenna. And we're going to work with that to bring up the waveform itself. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to plug it on. Now, as you can see over here, if you come over here, my scale is actually very, very small. It only goes up to 200 millivolts on my scale. So we got to come over here. We're going to put it on, put on five volts and that way we'll be actually be able to start to see. I'm already on my one millisecond division, which is perfect for, for this signal. So. After you got your signal and you want to try catch your say your signal waveform, come over here, click on this button, and your trigger can auto, repeat, or single. If you take it on single, it's going to take and it's going to freeze the waveform for you. It's not going to let it go any farther than what you see on the screen right now. Then you come back over. I always leave it on auto. And on channel A because we only have one channel turned on and you can either pick the rising edge or the falling edge and when they say rising edge or falling edge this is your rising edge of your of the of part of your waveform and this one is the falling edge so this is like a it basically just catches where where it turns on or where it turns off and if you click right here instead of taking and moving the the trigger source around itself you can actually just take and if you know your waveform is zero to let's just say it's zero to five volts well then you can put it at uh, three and uh, it's going to catch it up at three volts as you can tell it moved it up to three volts exactly so that part's uh, the trigger now for the channel selection i already showed you guys that and now we're going to get into a few other little features so now if we come over here as I showed you a while ago, you guys have divisions, and you can guys can get up to, if I'm not mistaken, it goes up to 100 volts division. So if I pick a 100 volts division, it's for sure that uh, my waveform is going to be super, super small. So as you can see, now my division is up to 100 volts. So each little square is 20 volts, 20 volts, 20 volts. So now if I come up to 1 volt, that's where I find that this breaks down on the lower portion of the, of the voltages. I cannot get this area right here to be one uh, one volt divisions unless I go to the five volt. On the five volt, they actually turn out to be one volt divisions. Now that's where I, I prefer the hand tech because when you click one volt on the hand tech, it actually goes one square is equal to one volt. But anyway, enough about the, the hand tech. We'll get back to the the hotel. So that's where that is. Now, if you come and you want to guys want to freeze your waveform, and as you can see right here, this is your frames. So it can uh, catch up to 32 frames. So if I press this, it'll freeze it for me. And we could take this guy and move him out of the way. Okay, now, when it's frozen, you guys can move it forwards. You guys can move it backwards, as you can see. Okay. And after that, you guys can also take, and if you guys want to measure your voltages, you guys can take the any which point and just go like that. And if you come back up in the little corner, you guys can bring another one. There we go. All right. 
So as you can see, depending on where I put this, it'll give me the amount of uh, voltage for that one little area. So if I come from here to here, I want to measure. Well, it's telling me that's at uh, uh, my max is at uh, 3.5, and I'm measuring it uh, from uh, 3. And the difference between the two is 0 0.4, uh, 0 0.548 volts. So that one's pretty simple. Now, if you guys come all the way over here into this corner, you guys are going to see a little square. You guys click that, and it's going to bring you your vertical cur cursors. So it's going to go from there, and then from there to there. Now I got my measurement for my vertical. So my rise is uh, 9.185, my fall is 9.406, uh, and the duration of this signal right here is 0 0.222 milliseconds. And as you can see, I'm on to milliseconds. So from this square, well, I'll come over here, from this area right here to this line right here is your time for that one square. So I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So I have 10 milliseconds on this one screen and divisions of one millisecond per. So now with that being said, another little feature that uh, this you click on this button right here, view zoom out, you guys can take and zoom in and then it'll give you that. And then if you come over here, it'll actually let you go through that whole frame that's onto your screen. And then you just press the X and it brings you back. If we can bring it back to full view after we zoom because if you go like this and then we'll come back to full and then we can zoom in onto a waveform then we can zoom out same thing and then we have a hand which I haven't quite figured out what the hands for to be honest with you guys is it doesn't really do anything as far as I could tell and I can't move it I can't do anything with it but, and, and to actually get your cursors back, you guys actually have to take and press this little guy right here, the pointer. Okay, and that way you'll bring back your cursors. Now, if you guys don't want your cursors, you just press this little X button right here, and everything's going to disappear. And that's it. That, that's pretty much all there is on to the hotel. So hopefully this little video uh, helps you guys out. And uh, I just wanted to go over it briefly to show you guys what uh, was into here. And actually, before I quit, just wanted to show you guys also, if you guys come over here where it says uh, P, click, it'll give you your times 10 voltage. So basically, all the voltages that are over here, if you click the times 10, it's going to go up. So there's 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. And if then, if, so then if you go 1,000, you're going to see up here it changes to kilovolts. Because I got 1 kilovolt, 2 kilovolts, 3 kilovolts, 4 kilovolts, 5 kilovolts. Now, this will be used with your ignition probe. Your secondary ignition probe and if you click on the 10,000 well you're gonna have 10 20 30 40 50 kilovolts now it's still showing with the the waveform which is uh, that could really mess you up if you don't make sure that you're on the uh, the right scale and then after that well you have your your basic uh, amp lamps so, and these numbers right here are actually the numbers of the Hantec amp, amp lamps. You guys can just go and purchase those and it'll work on this just fine. That's it for this little video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, please like, subscribe, comment. And I will get more videos up to you guys as soon as I can. Because I did promise to get you guys the working waveforms off my vehicle. And I will do that in the near future. Have a good day.